Hey guys, it's Patrick, also known as Xanes, from the channel Xanes Gaming. Uh, today we're back in Hearthstone. We're gonna start another arena run. So let's jump into it. We're gonna purchase there with gold, and what are we gonna do? Warlock, Warrior, Paladin. I'm not sure if I'm feeling a. Uh... I'm not sure what I'm feeling right now. I kind of feel like a warrior, honestly. I feel like a warrior. Let's do a warrior. Ooh, okay. Mortal Strike is okay, I think. Deal 4 damage if a hero has 12 or less health. Deal. Oh, wait. Deal 4 damage if a hero has 12 or less health. Deal 6 damage is dead. Okay, so it's really not that good. It's basically a fireball if you're really weak. I'm not sure how that doesn't sound very good to me. Argent Commander, on the other hand, is really good. Even after the nerf. Upgrade is good, but not unless you have a weapon already. But we don't have one, so we're gonna go with the Argent Commander, the more solid choice. Argent Squire is not very good. She's like it's the one damage that really makes her not that good. She doesn't kill very much, honestly. Raid leader is like he's not great, but he's not really that good either. He's not really that good, but he's not really that bad. Then you have the War Song Commander, who even after the nerf is fairly good, so we're gonna grab her anyways. Alright, Magasha Warden. Not very good, because of that one attack makes him almost worthless. He doesn't kill anything. Crossbow Forlow, if you can get lots of units out, is pretty good, but it gets shut down by silence to a decent extent. But Arcanite Reaper is almost an instant pick because it's so good. Here's a hard one. These are all fairly good cards. This card is extremely good value. Harvest Golem is so good. Cruel Taskmaster is good and can actually be used to some like kind of interesting things like enraged creatures he can be really good with. And also killing off minions with one health or even breaking like divine shields. He's really good at that. Early Ring Farseer is actually a pretty good card. I actually like this card. It has a the heal on it's pretty decent for what it costs. Like it's really good. A 3-3 three, three, three with the three health with three heal, that's actually a really good card. The heal is not as useful as some people might think, but like for the for the price of it, it's actually really good value. We're gonna grab the harvest golem because that value on that one. So Archmage. I kind of like it because it has it's such a weird stat combination for the and the spell damage is nice but the stat combination is really weird it's hard to kill but it's also pretty hard hitting but it's kind of costly and we don't need the spell damage in this deck right now at all the arcanite reaper again i will probably end up picking that because it, over the iron for grizzly it's a lot better so we're gonna grab the reaper elven archer i think it's a waste of a one drop one one for one with one damage if you turn that on turn one you do one damage with it whoop de freaking do so yeah now whirlwind situationally good but in other situations it's just bad because it hurts your own minions so not sure but that dark scale healer is okay I'm, i kind of like it it's i'm gonna grab the healer in this case all right correlate or cold light oracle we're gonna completely ignore that because screw that a worthless in arena decks. Sunwalker. Super annoying, but shut down pretty hard by silence. Azure Drake is really good. Because spell damage, card draw, 445. I kinda wanna get the Sunwalker just because we don't have any kind of uh We don't have any kind of taunt or divine shield yet. Or not divine shield, just we don't have any kind of taunt yet, like at all, but we're still really on the draft. So we're gonna grab the Azure Drake because it's really good value. Rampage is okay. It's actually pretty good. I think. It can be. Like, if you damage a minion with, like, one, and then you give it three, three, that is a ton. That is really a lot of, that is really a lot of damage and health. Frostwolf Warlord is a, again, it's okay. I like it, but we don't have a lot of weak minions that there are there right now to get it buffed up really high, so we're gonna go for the Korokron Elite for that charge damage. That four, three charge is really powerful. Cold Light Grim or Grimscale Oracle, worthless. Youthful Brewmaster is okay in this situation, honestly. It's not that bad. And Slam is a pretty good card. It's also card draw potentially. We're gonna grab a Slam in this case. We don't have any spells yet. Okay, uh, upgrade again. Uh, it can be good in this case. We have two weapons. Long as it's not a bad choice at this point, but I don't know if I really want to pick it. Crazed Alchemist is a situationally good again but yeah stampeding code seems to be the better all-around choice i think war golem is not that great i like boulder fist ogre much better it's just that extra 
that extra mana cost is not worth the one extra damage. And I believe this can be Shadow Word Death by Priest, so not worth it. Stormpike Commando. I don't really like it. 2 damage or 4-2, it's super weak for its price, and it's 2 damage. Not that great. Jungle Panther, on the other hand, is a really good card. And we're gonna grab it, because that's stealth. Okay, these are not very good. Warlock Raider. Bad. Don't get it. Charge. Better now than it was before. It used to just be charge, but now it's 2 attack and charge. It's better, but not really good for 3 still. So we're gonna take Battle Rage for that extra card draw. Speaking of Karja, there's a Gold Master. Uh, Inner Rage, one damage, give many to attack. It's basically a uh, cruel Taskmaster without the unit behind it, which makes it significantly worse, but it's also free. But do is that something I really want right now? I don't know if I want that. The Cult Master is good, but we don't have a lot of weak minions just to kind of throw away to get cards out of it right now. Brewmaster is a really good card. We can like replay, say, the Elite for another charge, or the Azor Drake, or the Healer, or the Stampeding Kodo. We have to have quite a few choices with the Brewmaster. We're gonna grab one at least. So we get us another Brewmaster, but uh, we're gonna skip charge because we can get a Stormwind Knight for four, one more. If it's a unit though, too, so. Or a card, I guess, a minion. Ancient Brewmaster. I quite like him. He's a 5 4. We're actually gonna pick him over the Stormwind Knight, I believe. I kinda like him more. This way we have two ways to kinda get these other units with battle cards back out. In this case, oh god, this is a hard choice. Uh at least the Snapjaw over these two is completely not a, not even an option. The Yeti is an extremely good value, but the Tazadingo. We don't really have Taunt yet, so we're gonna go over the Tazadingo. Nightblade. Bad, don't pick it. Frostful Grunt, bad, don't pick it. Leperno, not as bad. Pick it. That was easy. Uh, these two, we have one Battle Rage. Do we really need a second one? I don't know. Whirlwind, I don't know if we want that either. Over a Whirlwind Infiltrator, we'll take the Worgen Infiltrator. Both really powerful one drops. This is another hard one. Warzone Commanders are not as good as they used to be. Much worse than they used to be, honestly, but they're not bad still. Boulder Fist, like I said, is a really nice card. I like it. We have, we're have quite top-heavy right now. So we're going to go for that Spellbreak because that Silence is universally amazing. Thrallmail Farseer, I don't like him. He's not as good for that Wind Fury. He does like 4 damage at that Wind Fury, which really isn't that much. Where I can get a 3-2 with a 1-1 one, one buff to another minion. And the River Crocolisk over these two, the Shattered Sun all the way. Pine Size Summoner, basically a target just to get killed, honestly, is not that, she's not as good anymore. She's good, but not that great. Ancient Mage can be good, but we don't need that spell damage, there's no use for it in our deck right now. So we're gonna go for the Twilight Drake for that huge, hopefully huge Twilight Drake play. Oh god, these are all so weird. Taunt, this is a really bad taunt, don't pick it. Stormpike Commando, I don't really like it, I don't want to pick it. But the Wolf Rider's not as bad. I kind of like the Wolf Rider. It's a good way to just kind of remove something about the 3 damage. It's going to die, whatever you remove it with, so... We'll grab one of those. We need some more 3 drop areas. Ooh, okay, Crazy Alchemist over these two we're not going to pick. Frothing Berserker. Oh god, that one with a Whirlwind is just a monster. But we have a Sunwalker. Ooh, it's a hard one. Frothing Berserker with a Sunwalker. We're sitting pretty nicely in all the drops right now. Given that we have a taunt, we have one taunt at least, right? We have one. Not that we need taunts, but we don't. We're gonna take that berserker because you can get some really cool plays with him. Oh god, what are these cards? Oh my god. Okay, so the Blueville Warrior, Young Dragonhawk's worthless. It dies, it does two damage, but it dies to everything, ever. Frostwolf Grunt is a 2 2 with taunt. It's bad, it dies to everything, it doesn't really. It's just bad. Blueville Warrior. I guess we can pick it. It's like the only it has charge at least, so that's a thing. We have Battle Rage already. We have a Tazdingo. Maybe a second Tazdingo. We also don't have a Cult Master yet, and that card draw could be very nice. We have a few low drops. I, mean, I think a Cult Master wouldn't go miss right now, I think. Oh boy. So yeah no. Not not gonna pick you. Mad Bomber is He's fun, but he's not very nice half the time. Uh, Wrathy Weapon Smith's pretty good, actually. I like it. I've learned like a lot more with that 2-2 weapon involved. We're gonna grab it. No. Not really wanting it right now. Yes. Execute. Get away to get rid of anything big and scary late game. Acolyte of Pain's okay, but we don't have a way to trigger him effectively. 
raid leader is okay, but we have a lot of three drops. We don't really need him right now. I don't think we need the raid leader, honestly. He dies pretty easy. The fairy dragon, though, super annoying. Can't move with hero powers or spells or anything, so really nice. Beast of Sergeant. Not a good turn one play because that battle cry goes wasted. Nightblade, just all around bad. Slam, we're gonna pick it. Two damage and possible card draw. I realize our draft is almost over. The Gnomish Inventor is really good, guys, and we have a Lord of the Arena. We're really lacking hard hitters now in the late game, so we're gonna grab a Lord of the Arena in this case. Uh, Stampede and Kodo. Okay, so that draft went strangely. I'm not sure if I liked it or not. We're gonna play and just see what happens, I think. I think that's the best choice to do, is just play it. So let's see what we can end up doing with this draft. I played a uh, ring around before this, and I went... What was I playing? Uh, Rogue, I believe. I went 5 and 3. Usually I go like end up going like 3 and 3, so 5 and 3 is pretty... I was pretty happy with that. Now let's see if I can continue that on right now, before I uh, go to bed. Let's see how I do it. Of course the Rogue Get wasn't recording at the time. Malfurion. But I always sat down to record, and that's not a good hand at all. Not for going first, we're going to scrap all of them because I can't play any of them right now. Oh my. Okay, so we, uh, we got two of our six drops. And our Arcanine Raper. This is just peachy. So nothing turn one because the draw hates us. I know I haven't got, I got quite a few low drops, but it was just all high drops. Six, six, two, and five. Really? Break all the things right now because I'm mad. Oh, great. Okay. I think I effectively broke everything in this map. Oh, my, my noises. I think I played everything now in the clock. Oh my gosh, guys, what is this? What is this? I don't understand. Alright, what's it gonna do? You have a coin, you must be able to play something. Well, you can hero power and do nothing to me because I have armor up. So guys, when we hit turn five, I'm gonna bring the pain, but until nope, nothing still. Just wait, guys, turn four and five and pass them, we're gonna bring the pain, but until now we're just waiting, playing the waiting game here. That's actually fine. I am okay with that. It's gonna die. We're gonna core crown elite him right in the face. You don't have any more mana left. That's gonna coin something. Just end, end your turn. Come on. Come on. Mr. Drood. Come on. Come on. Hit the button. Just hit the button. You don't even want to hit the button. So looking at your cards, you can't do anything. You have no mana. Holy crap, finally. All I want to do is this. Die! Look how fast that was, see? Easy turn. He just took an hour to do his turn. Here we go again. Another 10 minutes to do his turn. What do you got? Can you kill off my core crying elite? The king. Yes, you can. You, why do you have that? What? What? He has Moonfire? He picked that? People choose that card? We're just gonna kill it. People choose that card, guys. Guys, Moonfire was actually picked. No one chooses that card. It's one damage for no mana and a card. It's, it's a waste of a card. Why did he pick that? I don't understand. Do I really want to task Dingo? Not really. It's gonna die. Everything I'm picking is gonna die, I guess, so... Whatever. We're gonna task Dingo because... It's gonna die anyways. And we're not gonna attack because we're gonna save it to kill that tiger. I'm still amazed he actually got a Moonfire. It actually worked in that situation too, which makes me even more sad that it actually killed him. 
but I'm just, he got one, why? It's such a waste of a card. It's one damage for zero mana and a whole card that you could have got anything useful with. Oh, come on now. Hit my test and go, just hit him please. And I'll kill you. I can actually, no I can't. Yes I can, I can slam him. And save my weapon charge. What to do? Make your choice. Alright, well, next turn he's getting slammed. I won't get a card out of it, but it'll kill it, so... Worth it. And I save an Arcanite Reaper charge. I have two of them, but still, I save a charge. So... What are with these cards? What is this? Do you see these cards, guys? I don't understand. Like, I really don't understand. Uh... We're just gonna slam it. And then I guess we're just gonna play the Frothing Berserker in this case. And just hit it. I think it buffs him, right? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. What is with these cards? The Stormback Commander is really not that good, and he used the hero he used his battle cry on me. Why? It's such a waste. This player confuses me. I feel like he may have just got the beta or something. Like, I, I don't know. Open beta did come out just recently, so I mean, highly plausible this player does not know quite what they're doing yet. And doesn't know the good cards yet, because I mean, those are some very... Those are some very questionable cards he's played so far. And questionable plays with the cards. And he has so many cards, he has seven. What are you doing with them, sir? Had a drink there. Thirsty. Okay. You have seven mana, just play something, please. You wrapped it? Okay. And then you're gonna hit it. I suppose that's okay. You took two. You took a card to kill that and the mana for it, and you're gonna power of the wild to get a 3 2 Panther. Oh, these are all questionable decisions by you. We're just gonna play. Right, get a card. That's. No, not Battle Roads, the wrong one. And the type of the Panther. So we can just kill that off next turn and hit him for four. We can Battle Rage afterwards and get at least two cards out of it, maybe more. What is he playing? Give us a silence. I got to Argent Command next turn and just kill that off. I didn't realize that. That's a good idea. And swipe. Okay. I guess that's an okay use of swipe, kind of. Not really, but I mean, whatever works. To no friend. We'll do that. We'll battle rage for two cards. Yeah, next turn we know what we're doing, don't we? That dies. And we'll just kill that off. If I had the Cold Master out, I would have been able to get a card from that, but I'm okay not getting a card right now. I have a lot of cards. The next turn I can Twilight Drake for a really big Twilight Drake. I must and Keeper of the Grove. Oh. Don't you have all the choices? Don't you have all the freaking solutions? Andrew the Claw. In bear form. Because, why not? Okay, so Twilight Drake. Half one kill him before seven. Go to the arena or Spellbreak on Go to the arena. That was a dumb choice. I was not going to Spellbreak and that would be a dumb idea. All it would do is make him a 4-6. This way, I got that out. Uh, next turn I'll play Colt Master. And then throw the bluegill out at something. Just get some card draw going. This is a really weird game so far. We haven't really done much besides clear the board. I'm taking some damage, but not anything significant. It's really strange. I don't know what to do. And he keeps getting all these freaking good value cards like Druid of the Claw and the Keeper of the Groves. God, I hate these cards. They're just so good. I have a 4-7 out, and a 6-5, so 
I mean, he has to respond. Am I six five trades for his four six? Okay. Well, that just breaks the silence. Oh, he's playing everything. And oh no. And he's going right for me. God, that's an annoying play. Holy crap. I didn't think of that. Okay. Cult Master? Do I want- no, I don't want a Cult Master right now, really, do I? So we're gonna go for the... Kodo. Got rid of one of them, it makes a stupid tree. Oh god, this is annoying, guys. Farewell. Break one of those. Play the cult master? No. Alright, that's a better choice to do it that way, I think. As annoying that is, he can only do 8 damage this turn. Now bring me down to, like, 11. Which is low, but he's out of cards, so if we can clear this board... Uh, I'm not really scared of that. No, I can silence it. Please take the six to the face. Like I'll be okay with taking six to the f if you take six to the face right now. I'm gonna silence that Gurubashi just so I can get a card out of my just so my spellbreaker can play and I can get these Gurubashi taken care of without making them useless. Uh, brewmastering the Kodo is actually not a bad idea at all in this case. No, it's not. No, it's a great idea actually. This is all really annoying still though. These treants. He can throw two at that, which is fine. And then he'd have to throw like Oh, he can throw himself at it too, I guess. That works. Alright guys, so the plan. We're gonna sack what we can. Oh we got another code. Okay, here we go. Here's the plays. Kill it. Get a card. Kill that. Kodo and hope that it kills off the girl Bashi. It doesn't. But we have a spell breaker next turn, so it's okay. It can kill off our cult master, is what it can do. And it's probably going to. And then we just silence it. So those Kodos came in handy in this case. This game's really weird so far. I'm not sure what to think. But we have good cards in hand. So that's the thing. So that one coming, but it dies next turn, so whatever. I'm actually gonna save that spellbreaker, I think. In this case. Because I don't know what that is. Yep, I'm gonna save it, so we're gonna like this. Like that. Dies. We're gonna play the healer. Get some health. And then just do six damage to him. There we go. Now we have a way to spell break and even bring the spellbreaker back in hand at the same turn, which is great. And get a four five get a five four out of it. And he's down to two cards, I'm down to two cards, but I have board control and good cards in hand. Not sure what he has in hand. Not good cards, that's the answer. He we burnt through a lot of cards so far. Dang. We're really like pushing it here. This is the case where I'm actually going to be okay doing this because I don't want that getting him a card. We're going to do that because I really don't want him getting a card out of that. And we're going to kill it. I want to reduce the amount of cards he's going to get at all times right now as much as I can because the less cards he has, the less chance he has of clearing my board. If he keeps getting extra cards like that, he can get the card he needs or something helpful. So if I can avoid it, I want to avoid it at all costs. So we're just going to spell break it. Because I have it again in my hand. I have a 5-4 right now from it, so it definitely, definitely was worth it. What to do? What to do? That's... looks like it's a... Spell with a target ability? I'm gonna have to assume that's what it is, because that's what he's doing with it, so... It's a spell or it's a battle cry minion? 
I don't know if it really matters right now. We still have to clear the entire board, and all my minions have three or more health, which is really hard to get rid of. Like, he needs something pretty serious to clear this board. My minions are really powerful. Hero power. And I can outlast him on hero powering, because I have armor up and he only has one armor and health damage. Your magic shall it's not a spellbreaker, which does not help him. He can kill off one minion, but it does not help him now, because that can't attack this turn. So he can kill off that, and that's it. So that's what he's going to do. Alright then. And you're at the end of your turn now. You're out of moves. You can't attack with a spellbreaker. You didn't do that very well. Let's just say that. We're just going to go like that. Play the War Song Commander. Play the Fairy Dragon. Oh, we won. Oh, and we have lethal. All right, well we did it. That game was bizarre, to say the least. I'm not sure how I felt about that one. That was that was weird. Now we got a new quest. Uh, that one's helpful, so that's cool. Uh, do I want to go one more? What is it? One. Uh, I feel like we have time for one more. Let's do one more tonight. I don't, want to make, I don't like making these episodes go on too terribly long, so I'd like to cut them after about the draft of one game, but that game was, I don't think it was actually pretty lengthy, but I feel like we've squeezed one more in this episode. I don't know, I like keeping my videos to be at 20 to 30 minutes long. It's easier to record, it's easier for me to record in big chunks like that than it is to record in smaller chunks, because it's just a lot more stopping and starting. I guess what I could do is I can just record all in one continuous, uh, just keep all recording in one continuous go, and then just edit it out as I go through, which is probably the better idea, so I should probably do that, as I'll pick... What I end up doing a lot of the nights when I record is I go through and record a video or two of each game that I want to, like, kind of get my series going, have a backlog going. But what I probably should do is pick a game for one night and then just play a good hour or two of it and just record the entire thing and then split it up into segments on... Oh god, this is awful. This could not have gone any worse. Mm, yeah, that's about as bad as it gets. Oh my god. Guys, I think I might as well just concede now. I don't know what I can do at this point. I might as well just concede. This is... That Harvest one doesn't even kill anything. Oh my god, this is awful. That just happened. Please don't buff it. Holy shit, it's a 5-5. Five five. What the fuck, guys? Do you see this? What is this? What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna do this. And get rid of that. I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even... Wow. That was an opener, if I ever saw one. Holy crap. Excuse the language back there, but my lord, the buffs. Stop it, please. This isn't fair. I don't understand what I did to you. I don't understand what I did to this man, but he hates me. He truly hates me. Uh, at this point, we're going to need a Tazdingo. Like, I don't even know what to do there. That stupid blood imp. Oh my god. Magic shall not save Please stop, he's just rushing me, he's gonna kill me. I... What can I do? I can't do anything, guys! I can't do anything. I've lost. I'm pretty sure I just lost. I don't know what I can do. I try to kill what I can, but like... It's gonna be a four. Oh god. Oh god. I'm trying, guys, but this is... This is pretty awful, I don't even know what to do. I just got rushed so hard. Please don't be another minion to charge me with. I'm so scared. What was I saying? Uh, I should, I think what I'm gonna try to do now is pick one game that I'm gonna do for the night, like play, or not even for the night, but just like one game I'm gonna play and just record a huge long segment of that game and then just edit it off in parts where I feel like it needs, it's a good spot to like stop for it. Instead of starting a video and then stopping it and then starting the next one right afterwards, it's much easier to do a continuous flow and then just kind of cut it off as we go through. 
For Hearthstone ones, I'll probably do the kind of cutoff method. So but for other games, I might just... It depends what we're doing. If it's in my last plays, I might just do a continuous play, and then I'll just cut them off in between. For spotlights, I will do them, obviously, in the form of one video. It's a spotlight. And then these games, I'll do, like, the way I'm doing it right now. So I'm pretty comfortable with the way this works. This game right now, though, obviously hates me because I don't know... I don't so even know what to do. Possibilities. This is pretty much awful in every way. Holy crap, guys. What did I do to deserve this? Dang it, I didn't want him to kill that, honestly. But, uh, yeah, so that was the, obviously the better choice. I can Arcanite Reaper, and I probably should. And I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm gonna need to, though. And armor up. I need to kill that. Now we're just gonna have to hit him and just hope that he can't hit us for 7 damage now. I think we survived that beginning onslaught of just death. That was death. I don't even know what to say about what just happened in the beginning of that game. That was stupid. Holy crap, guys. That needs to die. And Shadow Bolt. Of course it's Shadow Bolt, because why not? You just hate me, don't you? Yep, so we're going to have to... Honestly, we might just slam it. I'm gonna slam it for a card, and then throw him at it. I could slam it again, but I'm not going to. And then we're gonna drop, because we're great. And get another card. Yes! The Stampeding Kodo! I needed that so bad right now! Kill the Imp! Oh, for the love of God, if the only thing I do in this game is kill the damn Imp, I don't care. I honestly don't care if I can- Holy shit, he has so many cards. Oh my god, if I can just kill the Imp, I don't even care, I'll be happy. That's all I want to do right now. I want that to die. I want to pray to the gods of RNG that I get this imp. Oh my god, I didn't get the imp. Guys, I didn't get the imp. I think it's time to battle rage. No. It's time to... Join or die. Or both. I need some cards. Guys, it didn't work. I can Brewmaster next turn, they'll get the Imp. We're gonna get that damn Imp. If it's the last thing we do, we're getting that Imp. That Imp will die. We're regaining control of the game with seven health left. We're very fragile, but we're regaining control of the game. Sorry. Please they'll don't. Oh my god. This is so dumb. I just got wrecked. I feel awful about that. Wow, that was the worst. That opener, though, like, what was I supposed to do against that? Holy sweet god, that was just... Oh my god. Okay, well... It's- this is- this has been an interesting draft. One game was a pretty fun game. The second game, I got worked as hard as I could have possibly been worked ever. It was just- that was awful. I don't even know what happened there, guys. I don't even- I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. That was awful, and I, sh I, don't, I don't even know what I could have done. Like, I don't even feel like there was anything I could have done that would have saved me from that. That was just... I had nothing to respond to that crap he threw out in turn one. The turn one flame imp and blood imp? I don't even know what to do to that. Like, that's just so good. Alright, well anyways guys, this has been, this has been Patrick. Uh, also known as Xanes. Oh, that was, that was, that was a Warrior Arena run starting. We'll see where we go with this deck. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.